Hi, I'm Flor Castillo. This is Tell It Like It Is, where this week we are discussing gender-neutral bathrooms around school. Gender-neutral bathrooms create a welcoming environment for LGBTQ students. Around NHS, there has been new accommodations regarding this issue. In guidance, two neutral bathrooms were accommodated, and recently, a faculty bathroom on the third floor was turned into a gender-neutral bathroom. I sat down with Sylvia Shred, GSA leader, to discuss a bill passed by GSA, Feminist Collective Club, and a student union to make more bathrooms gender neutral. I have been part of the Gender Sexuality Alliance Club, um, and what I've been seeing is while Northampton is really progressive when it comes to being gay or lesbian in some sense, there are, we sometimes fall back on student, or we aren't always as progressive with students that are trans or students who are gender neutral. I was elected as a student union representative for junior year. I wrote a proposal for uh, gender neutral bathrooms on the third floor. I wanted them in like the third floor bathrooms, both the men's and the women's, uh, would be turned into gender neutral. The student union talked and voted on whether or not they would back this proposal, and we decided to vote that yes, we would try to continue working on this proposal, and we met with um, Mr. Lombardi and Ms. Malvezzi. GSA has been part of this decision since last year in Sara Grimaldi, a sophomore and GSA member sat down with me to discuss how students, teachers and administration has responded to GSA tackling this issue. The motivation for addressing this issue was that there are gender non-conforming, gender neutral and all that stuff kids in our school and we want them to be able to feel comfortable on more than one floor. The school and administration have responded great most of the students don't know that it exists, so that's probably a good response. We hope that the outcome is that there's less judgment on who decides to use those bathrooms and that overall it is a safer place for non-binary students. However, the bill was declined due to concerns both in administration and families because of possible exposure between students due to urinals. I sat down with Associate Principal Celeste Malbesi to discuss possible positive and negative outcomes into turning more bathrooms gender neutral around school. For me, um, uh, I have to consider, you know, my, part of my job is sort of the safety of students and not from the perspective of, um, you know, worried about perpetrators and, you know, I, that's, that's, that's not where I'm coming from. But I have, um, in the school, we have students who are of age of consent and students who are not. And, um, you know, and I understand that, that things happen in, in single sex restrooms, um, but I think I just have to be, I have to be cautious about sort of setting up something that, uh, that maybe a parent or guardian wouldn't welcome in their own home, <laughs> you know, but allowing something like that at school. So, I, you know, I have to think about things like that. What's my role in that, in the safety from that point of view? GSA and the Student Union will continue working on improvements around the school community to make everyone's school experience welcoming. I'm Flor Castillo. I'll see you next week on Tell It Like It Is.